Hey everyone, welcome back into our Thursday night edition of the Fairbanks Evening News. Mike Schultz with once again talking about the weather. Cloudy all day long and temperatures pretty chilly. We weren't expecting it to be quite that cold. We're looking at still a warming trend over the weekend. We'll tell you more about that in just a little bit. Our photograph for tonight, this was sent in by Sean Chura. He was able to capture a sunset at Allison Air Force Base. Really nice photograph there. And as always, if you have a photograph to share, send it to photos at ktvf11.com. Your numbers look like this. Today's high four above, currently one above. The low last night, 10 degrees below zero. Record high 33 in 1944, 55 below in 1975. Our sunrise and sunset, four hours and 25 minutes. That's a gain of almost four and a half minutes for the day. And another air quality alert going on, unfortunately, right on through Friday tomorrow. Uh, Fairbanks, uh, stage one, moderate conditions. And North Pole is in a stage three condition, which is unhealthy for sensitive groups. So folks in North Pole, you want to try and uh, limit your, your burning if you can. And of course, those with uh, respiratory and heart problems uh, should not be outside. That includes the children, too. Here's our satellite and radar. Again, you can see the uh, high pressure ridge uh, well defined over the uh, central section of the state, keeping all the moisture off to the southwest. A few showers in the uh, Gulf of Alaska around the Kodiak Island region, and that is about it. Not too much going on. As far as the rest of the state is concerned, you can see kind of chilly in Juneau, 20 degrees there, 31 at Ketchikan, just cloudy skies around the Anchorage Bowl, 40 degrees, and some showers around the Kodiak region. Along the Aleutian chain, cloudy skies at Cold Bay, then more sunshine as you move up the west coast from Bethel at uh, 33 to Nome at 26. Barrow not nearly as warm as they were yesterday, one degree above today, but still pretty chilly in Fort Yukon, nine degrees below zero. Lower 48 weather, more energy moving across the central plains, kind of wrapping up into uh, showers and maybe some long periods of snow here across the Minneapolis areas are getting ready for that playoff game uh, Sunday. And elsewhere, as you can see on the west coast, things have calmed down for a little bit, but another storm system approaching from the west. And the overall picture is more th snowfall moving across the inner mountain region and also into the Arizona and uh, even parts of Utah with a heavy snowfall around the Flagstaff area close to two feet possibly there. And the jet stream once again is indicating that uh, the flow will be continuing to come across the Pacific Ocean, diving down to the south, moving rapidly up to the east, mixing the, the snow and rain across the Great Lakes and then more rain over the eastern side of the country. Okay, time once again for our kids weather and all this week we're talking with the kids from Salsha Elementary School. And tonight, here we have a young lady with a question for me. Hi, my name is Cassie. I'm in I'm in Mrs. McGee's fourth, fifth grade class in Salter Elementary School, and here's my question for the weatherman. What forms lightning? Well, if you can think of static electricity in a bigger scale, that's exactly what lightning is in the atmosphere. It's a huge uh, area of opportunity for the, the lightning to develop because of the static electricity. One point connecting to the other point, and that completing it makes the lightning bolt. Don't get a whole lot of that here in the Fairbanks area, unfortunately. I like lightning. Again, thanks to Mount McKinley Bank for sponsoring our kids' weather. And tomorrow night, we'll wrap things up with a teacher. She'll be here with a fact about snowflakes. Okay, our forecast for the remainder of the night, actually for uh, northern sections for tomorrow for Alaska, partly cloudy skies for Barrow, mostly clear skies for Nome and Fort Yukon. Here in the interior, no change expected. Partly cloudy skies for Fairbanks and Delta Junction. Increasing clouds for the Healy area. Over the southeastern sections, looking pretty good still. Sunny skies for Juneau, a few clouds at Ketchikan. And over the southwest part of the state, it looks like rain and snow for Colby. Heavy rain expected at Kodiak and more snow expected around the Bethel area. And over the south central regions for the Anchorage area, chance of rain at Homer, but otherwise just cloudy skies for Valdez and Anchorage. And our forecast for the remainder of the night, like I said, cold temperatures, quite a bit colder than last night, 12 below for the overnight low. Tomorrow's forecast during the daytime highs, uh, around, around six degrees, with again, just partly cloudy skies. Now the extended forecast for the next five days shows a, definitely a warming trend for Saturday and Sunday, then cooling off a little bit once again toward the end of the five day period. And overnight lows will also remain above normal for this time of year, cooling down a little bit for Monday night, but still this time of year, our normal low is right around two degrees below zero. So we are definitely still warmer than we should be.